Howdy folks, welcome to another video here at Ordnance Lab. As y'all can tell, it's gonna be a fiery Friday. What we're gonna be doing is we've got a whole bunch of trees that I've spent the last couple of weeks cutting down, both using a tractor, just knocking it over at the front end loader, also using a brush saw and just a pair of clippers going through and cutting them and spraying them and wiping out that wee satch. We also blew some of them up for one of our other videos. What we're gonna show now is we're gonna show how to actually get rid of them as part of Fiery Friday. What we have waiting for y'all is gonna be an improvised Molotov, well, there's not much of, it's not an improvised Molotov cocktail, but this one here is gonna be a different one that's in the form of an actual light bulb. And then we're gonna try a thermite grenade to try to set a tree on fire that we blew up with explosives. So, we'll get to the fun. Ah, but wait, there's more. You afraid of the government knowing what you're Googling on there? That if you're looking up all kinds of naughty stuff that'll get you on one of those government watch lists and whatnot, well, we may have a solution for you. Well, hello friends, Jake here, and let me ask you something very important. Do you care about internet privacy? Are you worried that a shadowy government organization is keeping tabs on you and putting you on a watch list? Do you happen to live in a country with a heavy amount of censorship that blocks certain channels such as ours, and like, ooh, Russia, and you want to get past that censorship? Well, we have a solution for you, and that is Surfshark VPN. VPNs, or Virtual Private Networks, is an encrypted connection between a terminal such as your computer or phone to a private server, and this connection prevents your data from being viewed from prying entities such as government, spyware, or nosy social media platforms. And with Surfshark VPN, you can connect safely over really shady networks such as the one that's provided at that $20 hotel that has the password to access it as simply baloney1. But hey, you don't have to take my word for it, you should check it out yourself. Using the promo code LAB, you get 83% off the price and three months free of service. Or you can also take a look at the link in the description. And that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. So if you take your internet security seriously as we do, be sure to check out Surfshark VPN. It'll help you secure your connection and also help us out. All right, so what we're gonna do next is gonna be the poor, from the Poor Man James Bond by Ragnar Benson, which is a whole bunch of interesting stuff, including the light bulb Molotov that Jake says he made a bunch of these back in Mexico. This is the first one he's made north of the border, so to say. But one thing we wanna make sure that we're clear is that this right here is extremely hazardous. Don't do this at home because, well, first of all, it's illegal. Um, second of all, that it's very dangerous and yeah, not very bright to be doing that unless you know what you're doing. So the implied thing is that we know what we're doing. Hopefully that's correct so let's get on and light some stuff on fire in our previous video we recorded just a bit of our epic and ongoing battle with the we satch trees blowing them up sure was fun then again what isn't fun with explosives well maybe a funeral that may not go too well this left us with a literal ton of dead trees all over the range that needed to be disposed of sure we could have chopped them up and sold it as firewood but that would mean we'd have to fight big lumber so that's out we settled on the pyromaniac option, aka torching them via giant burn piles. Like Burning Man, minus the patchouli oil, bad music, and underlying sadness. Well, that was disappointing. All right, it's a freaking light bulb. For some reason it didn't break, so we're gonna have to try part duh. So we'll throw it up in the air and I'm gonna get it to try to come down. When you're throwing Molotovs, you never wanna throw them over your head because that wick could come out and then, whoa, you're gonna be doing the Richard Pryor dance. Oh, come on, big money, big money, big money. There we go, come on. Oh, there we go, yay! Second time's a charm, I guess, in this case. The light bulb Molotov isn't the most ideal incendiary device for numerous reasons. Despite it being notoriously fragile, it needed a second toss with a bit more oomph. Once it broke, it kicked off the fire and we had ourselves a nice little inferno going. Ah, well that was less than impressive with the, there was no like whoosh that you typically get with a Molotov, but you can see that this fire is spreading pretty good. And that's from just, it's so freaking dry here in South Texas, I haven't gotten much rain. This wee satch been sitting out here for a while. So, some of y'all might be wondering why we didn't use one of our regular Molotovs. Well, if there's such a thing as a regular Molotov, well, that's because they're actually kind of hard to break sometimes. You'll get it where you throw it and it just clang, 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 clang down on the in our range and it doesn't actually break. We wanted to make sure, so we just got this wood right here that we would throw it at, or we'd throw something at it that would actually break it and start the fire. Because y'all saw the first time when it didn't actually go off, that was kind of disappointing. But this right here had a nice little flash to it. 
It really didn't take long for the fire to burn through the tree pile. We let it burn to completion, then moved on to the next tree pile that was ready to feel the burn. All right, so for the final thing, grab another thermite grenade and we'll throw it here on the pile. We also got a whole bunch of cactus that I dug up and I've been trying to kill them all. So they're all around the house. And basically the only way to get rid of them is literally to dig them up with roots at all. And then you have to basically burn them or, or some way of physically destroying them. Otherwise they're gonna come back to life basically like that damn Terminator or whatever. So you see a box of the uh, cactus here. So we'll throw Mr. Thermite grenade in there and we'll see what happens. Snap, mm, crackle, and pop. Despite our previous experiences with thermite grenades, this one worked like a charm and for good reason. A big pile of dry wood is not that hard to ignite. There's a reason why Smokey warns you not to toss your cigarette out in the woods. We still had our doubts though, given our luck. Especially after we set one off against an engine block with less than desirable results. And another one against a filing cabinet full of paper that was a bit disappointing as well. But this time, the little grenade that could came through and got the tree burning hotter than a Totino's pizza roll that's been in the microwave for like 10 minutes on high. Well, I think it's safe to say that we established that I think a thermite grenade is gonna light these really dry trees on fire. Now, one thing you gotta make sure that you're careful with, of course, if you're gonna light a fire, you have to have a way to put it out or at least to contain it. It's like in this situation right here, we pre-staged a whole bunch of fire extinguishers. We've also got other firefighting equipment to, uh, Cut out to put out the uh, excuse me to put out any fire that gets out there and we also pre-burned a bunch of things so again this right here is all part of a comprehensive safety plan if you're going to be burning trees and all that stuff make sure that you do have a plan because you really don't want to have to invite the fire department over to your party this pile burned a lot slower than the previous one due to it being a little bit more spaced out we let it burn to completion then douse both with water as it was getting dark fighting a grass fire isn't something we wanted to do all night all right, you pyromaniacs, what did we learn in this video? Well, that the Molotov cocktail and the thermite grenade are both incendiary devices that do a decent job of igniting a pile of wood on fire. And for good reason, they're incendiary devices. That's literally what they're designed to do. Now, of course, these piles of wood are dried and they catch on fire easily, hence why Smokey the Bear reminds you to not throw your cigarettes out into the woods, because that's literally how we get forest fires. And yet people still do it, my God. Now I'm no expert on manufacturing the light bulb Molotov, even though Molotov cocktail is very simple in nature, but I have some experience in making them. And even then we still had some issues making them because they break all the time. I broke about four or five light bulbs making just one to work. And so it's not the greatest design. Traditionally, we use wine bottles for our Molotovs, but the problem is we can't break it out here because it would have been hitting a soft ground. You need a hard surface such as concrete or uh, a brick wall. So this is why we went with the light bulb option. And it's not the greatest design. I, we don't make them here other, other than for this particular video. But if you'd like to see more vi uh, videos on the light bulb Molotov, we can definitely do that. But it's definitely something we'd have to save for something like Utreon because I'm pretty sure YouTube would not allow us to do a full video on the light bulb Molotov. Anyways, that's our video. We hope you enjoyed it. For our new viewers, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos. We're working on trying to get to four videos a month, but we've been really busy building up our lab. But it's almost done, so that means that we can put out some more interesting content. So if you have any ideas that you'd like to see us test, be sure to put the idea in the comment, and we'll be sure to look for it, and then give you credit for it in the video. Of course, we have to weed out all the weird comments and political nonsense, or the ones that are just going off the deep end. Some of them are just freaking crazy. But for those of you who actually have good ideas, be sure to send them my way and we'll go from there. Anyways, that's our video. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for our next video here at Ordnance Lab.